Shade comes from reading. Reading came first. Reading is the real art form of insult. Then reading became a developed form where it became shade. Shade is, I don't tell you're ugly, but I don't have to tell you because you know you're ugly. <laughs> and that's shade. Rule number one to reading, there are no rules to reading. Oh yes, reading is fundamental. But let's be honest, the clapback is inevitable on the YouTube streets. Streets that have been the breeding grounds to many, many beefs. Fortunately, I have been there for most of them, and so have you. The question is, are you not entertained? Alexander Rogers, the king of reeds. He brings intelligence to the shade. His reeds stand alone. Even a sense of elegance is brought with his reeds. I only can describe him as the professor. James Colwell, the silent mic reader. Baby, when you see that silent mic come out, and if you're a real fan of James Colwell, you know exactly what I'm talking about. James Colwell puts that invisible mic up to his lips, and you know the read is going to be real. I call it the lullaby reader, a.k.a. the assassin. And let me tell you something, bitch. Don't sit around and think that you're quick enough nor swift enough to think that you can read me. Bitch, they call me the queen for a reason. I do this shit in my sleep. You understand? A view is a view, a.k.a. Miss Pam, one of my favorite contenders here on the YouTube streets. She will drag you for filth and make no apologies. Subliminals don't exist in Miss Pam's world. She is the legendary reader. Stuff. And your monkey ass gonna go over here and go after him and question his sexuality. Like, who does that? Who worries about what's going on between, between people's legs? Your motherfucking monkey ass, because you ain't got no motherfucking life. You need to mind your motherfucking goddamn business. Why are you bothering Jay Wilson? I don't really, I ain't sub to him. His ass came up in my recommended feed, but your ass been always up in here taunting motherfuckers and scaring motherfuckers because you ain't got no motherfucking life. You fucking bitch. Fuck you. Bitch. Uh-oh. Sean Bradley. Now tread softly when it comes to this reader. Straight from the boot, Louisiana birthed the right one. He'll get you two and together, as Miss Pam would say. Never the biased one. He just tells how he feels. F what these YouTube streets have to say. Because it's what? A hobby, not a way of life. I call him the zero fuck reader. How about that? I, I, I ain't scared of not now, motherfucker. I ain't never been scared of a motherfucking ass whooping. Never, bitch. And let me tell you motherfuckers, this right here when y'all holler about, keep that same energy for the straight men. Y'all always coming at us women. Let me tell you motherfuckers something in case you fail to realize, how the fuck you think we got to be this motherfucking tough and bold? All our lives we've been fighting straight men, bitch. We've been stra fighting straight men since we've been motherfucking kids, bitch. Them motherfuckers need to be scared of us, bitch. It's about some, we scared of straight men, bitch. You're gonna get us fucked up. There you have it. I compiled the best of the best. Now I know that there's millions of other readers here on the YouTube streets. So if I missed any, 
feel free put it in the comment section below or if you have content yourself you want me to check out I'll definitely go ahead and do that for you see what you are giving honey while you're down there go ahead hit that subscribe button that notification bell for all my latest and greatest content and if you want me to do part two you know what to do put it in the comment section below as well and I will see you in the next one bye